it's my birthday good morning how are you doing today it is my birthday we're gonna be spending my birthday together we're actually going to be working today we're going to london i have got meetings and events that i need to go to and i have missed out on a lot of things over the past couple of weeks because i have obviously been in my little engagement bubble so today it is back to work we're basically postponing my birthday well we're dragging it out over a whole week we're celebrating tomorrow and then i am also celebrating with all of my friends on friday which i am so looking forward to so i will bring you along with us for that but anyway today I actually have my first wedding event, not like a wedding fair, like a wedding influencer event. I can't wait, I'm just really excited to go and yeah, it's a whole different like type of event than the kind that I would normally go to and a really nice change for me. So that is what we're doing today. I also have other like usual kind of like the usual meetings. I have actually already been given one gift this morning. Shrimpy very kindly got me a mug with her face on it. Stunning. And Ryan got me this card. Look, it's us. So I'm really excited about today. I would love if we could also fit a little bit of birthday shopping in, but we will see. We'll see how that pans out. It might not work out. Oh no really looking forward to today and just to this evening as well like I am also equally excited to get home and watch bridesmaids and eat some food that is my birthday request that's my rom-com is it a rom-com I don't know that's my comedy my wedding comedy of choice let's hope and pray nothing like that film will happen to me oh this mascara is just the best the best but anyway i'm going to get on and get the rest of my makeup on my face it's going to be the same makeup that i showed you in not my last video the one before my engagement q a where i recreated my proposal makeup i'm going to do that same makeup today because i love it so i'll be back with you in a second makeup is done so today i think i'm going to go for you will have seen this if you watched my mango cos arquette haul my autumn haul this kind of black half like off shoulder top and i'm thinking like big gold jewelry with it a pair of black trousers around the waist and then maybe my celine gold belt this is the birthday outfit of the day like i said earlier my top is from cos my trousers are old trousers from new look and then we've got my chanel slingbacks my necklace is from monica vinida both the chain and the charm you can buy them separately and my earrings are also monica vinida as well i still have my code which i believe is live if you want to shop any more literally any monica vinida pieces knock your socks off it is there for you yeah they are just my go-to i love them so much and then literally the only ring i am wearing today is my engagement ring we are going to let her breathe yeah that is my outfit i am just taking a jumper in my bag in case i get cold on the train oh and i'm also going to take this bag i was going to take my small chanel tweed bag now that i've decided to take the jumper we are going to need a bigger bag so we're going to go with that one so if you watch my tiktok my get ready with me today you will probably notice that the bag is not the same just really exposing myself but these are the realities you change your mind last minute sometimes but anyway let's go to london <laughs> Oh my god, the most stunning view from today's event. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I will talk to you about that event more when I get home because that actually low-key blew my mind and I was not expecting it, but until then, I am gonna go and do some birthday shoe shopping. I have time before my next meeting, so let's do it. It would be rude not to. So that, uh, that plan was stuffed. It's time for some shopping. I've just filled my stomach with fries. Now I'm on the hunt for a little birthday treat. Ooh, this looks like a good place to start. You guys, look at this bag. Look at it. It's like a lilac. I need it. And the matching shoes. <gasps> Just been told that there's a special vault over here. 
Oh my god. Okay, wow. I thought I was about to buy the pair of shoes I just tried on, but I think I've got a few more pairs of shoes to try on. Look at these! <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Look at these. Oh my god. <laughs> well done us, we picked good shoes. I'm very happy with this purchase. Cupcakes! Secured. I'm home, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Ryan and Jordan just came and rescued me from the train station. I had a lovely birthday, a lovely working birthday. I got so many things today, but I'm very excited about this. So that is huge. It is massive, isn't it? I don't actually think the cake is that big. I think the box that the cake is in is really big. I always get a Lola's Cupcake Red Velvet Cake because they do it vegan. And we love that. We love the dairy-free life. So literally every year for like the past... Would you say three years? Yeah. Yeah, like the last three years, I have had a Lola's cupcake red velvet cake, and it's just, I don't even, it doesn't even have to come from Lola's, but we always just end up like being in London, and it's actually quite convenient. I look forward to it every year. Every year, Ryan says, what do you want for your birthday? And I say, flowers and a cake. And this is my, oh my God, you put a message on it. Oh, you are cute. Yeah, that's the cake. I'll show you the message in a second. Mm. It's literally the best cake on the planet and then i also saw my friend and she got me i literally it was so like last minute but we ended up meeting and having like a drink i say drink that makes it sound really boozy I had a coke and some fries in breast roof light in selfridges before doing some shopping and she got like oh no the cupcakes have had a <laughs> disaster <laughs> i'm not sure how that happened but they look delicious and they'll taste amazing they it all goes in the same hole love those very, very excited about those. Mm. This is my cake, the message. We always go for the pink baseboard as well. I also didn't get to show you, I got flowers and a balloon. My favorite things. I actually normally don't get a balloon on my birthday. I normally get balloons on Valentine's Day, but this is really cute and I'm not mad about it. Maybe just balloons all around forever now. And then Ryan's got me some bits from Victoria's Secret. We've got birthday cards, so many birthday cards. I'm gonna open all of these now. You know when you're trying to remember whose handwriting is whose and figure out who's written the card before you've opened it? Does anyone else do that? I think this is my stepman. Yes. Yeah. Come on, from my mum. Oh, we've got Susie and Ryan. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's from Stevie and Alex. Oh my God, that's really cute. Oh my God, this is adorable. You have another one for us as well? Yeah. <laughs> It's so cute. Ryan, you are very lucky. Oh my God. Edie, that is so cute, thank you. Oh yeah, this one's my auntie, I was right. And now Ryan is cooking me pasta. Mm, pasta, garlic bread, we're gonna watch Bridesmaids, which was my birthday film request. Perfect day. Oh my God, babe, this pasta looks so good. Um, best film ever. And the best shrimp ever. Good morning, everybody. I didn't get a chance to speak to you after my event what day was it monday oh my god it is friday monday's event was so fun it was with the wedding edition and sky diamonds which is literally the most incredible company like i was actually blown away you guys they make diamonds like this is really gonna downplay it but they're like compressed carbon and stuff and obviously lab grown diamonds you do that like as the label would say in a lab but they take it a step further they don't just like put carbon and stuff together they like take the carbon out of the sky so it's like a, a positive emission diamond did they say like it is insane i'm sure there's i will link their website because i'm sure that doesn't really do it justice it was incredible the entire menu for the lunch was vegan i actually thought it was a bit strange that when I was on my way to the event, I was like, no one's asked me for my dietary requirements. I'm a little bit like concerned because that normally means that I'm gonna turn up and have to eat chicken and I don't eat chicken. Like I will eat fish. I will not eat chicken. I probably would get sick. I got there and they were like, yeah, the entire menu is vegan. And my God, oh, this is, you can tell I love this. <laughs> it's starting to run out. It was such good food it wasn't like sometimes i go to events and you can tell the chef like really isn't into like cooking vegan food and it's just you get it's literally a running joke that you get a single carrot on a plate but this one it was phenomenal i was like this is the best birthday ever and uh i haven't even got down to the personal stuff yet this is a work event but yeah it was the most incredible event sky diamonds just i just think it's like the most magical 
company loved it and they actually gave me a little diamonds to take home which is such a nice treat on your birthday so then went and did a little bit of shopping as you will have seen and i bought a pair of shoes and i'll show you which pair i got shortly because i still haven't opened any of my birthday presents so we're gonna open all of my birthday presents together <laughs> this week has been the most insane week i will catch you up on like what else i've been doing this week in the next two vlogs so yeah it's just been a crazy week and i haven't had a chance to open any of my presents or my new shoes so you know we have lots to look forward to this weekend maybe we'll get a chance tomorrow when i'm like severely hungover but today today is the best day of the entire week like it's birthday part two in my head this is my real birthday i moved my birthday to the end of the week because i am going to see my friends today for my birthday and i just can't wait i don't know if i vlogged last year on my birthday but i love to do dinner and karaoke for my birthday it's one of my favorite well i was gonna say traditions but it's only its second year it's still in its infancy but i'm really excited we've got guests coming to stay so i need to prep the house for that this morning i also have calls and meetings and i need to make sure the house looks lovely and i have vlogs to film so there is a lot going on today but it's just honestly gonna be the best day i'm so excited anyway i'm gonna shut up in a sec because i feel like i seem just like outrageously happy but i'm just so excited for today the weather is stunning apparently it's blue skies and 21 today that is phenomenal so i'm pretending that this is my actual birthday just so i can say it's like blue skies and 21 amazing we need my absolute savior of valentino foundation this is gonna give me that glow that I want. Turning the brightness down so that you can really see that glow. It is absolutely phenomenal. Such a such a big fan of this foundation, honestly. Anyway, I am going to get this makeup done. We're gonna speed this up and I will be back with you shortly. Hopefully, if my day doesn't run away with me for the most fun day. So ignore what I'm wearing because I'm literally about to go and mow my grass. I'm just like getting everything ready, getting the house ready for our, our special guests this afternoon. I forgot I had this. So I have been saving this because I went to Jo Malone like the weekend I think it was or the week before we went on holiday and I got loads of like fragrances for the house but I didn't want to then get it out and then go away for a week and then it's just kind of a waste. So. I'm gonna unbox everything now. So I did scent profiling with them. I think that's what they call it. They basically do you like a consultation. They ask you so many questions about your home and then make like suggestions based on that. And there were some things, there were choices that I went with that I, wow, it's gone really dark. Hmm. There were choices that I went with that I just never would have thought that I would have picked. So I'm so I'm excited to unbox these. They did me a scent for the living room, a scent for the bedroom, and a scent for the bathroom as well. But I might pop the bedroom one in the guest bedroom for this evening just so that it smells really nice. Anyway, this is the living room scent. I went for green tomato vine. And you can basically, I really like this because it comes in the bottle. You can pour as much as you want into the actual diffuser little bottle and it just means it doesn't all like evaporate at once i think especially in the summer i find my diffusers like go a bit quicker so you can control how much of the scent is like being used at once and then we have this box and in here we have our bathroom scent which is orange blossom which is just lovely and citrusy and i very fresh and i think that's really nice for the bathroom and then for the bedroom we have lavender and moonflower which is just stunning and then i also got the pillow mist which i picked out i don't love a pillow mist but ryan is obsessed with pillow mists and i knew that he would love this so i picked out the pillow mist as well because i thought he'd really enjoy that so those are the bedroom scents and then i also got an english pear and freesia candle which is english pear and freesia is one of my favorite Jo Malone scents it's so beautiful and they were also really sweet and gave me the new fragrance which is English pear and sweet pea which smells 
insane. Very fresh and soft. I'm just really, really beautiful. So that is what I got. And that is how I'm gonna, whoa, finish up my home preparation this morning. Oh, this smells so nice. I have to say, I think my favorite is the green tomato vine. Literally, it's unlike anything I've ever smelled, but it's so good. I love playing about with reeds <laughs> and like arranging them. Is that weird? It's just so cool. Oh, so nice and fresh. They say to pour about half in. I don't really know how much is half. Mm, I'll go with that much. That's good. Okay, first up, we'll pop this one the lavender and moonflower into this bedroom shelf i tried to make the guest bedroom shelves look as nice as possible but <laughs> no one sleeps in here so there's literally nothing going on and then orange blossom could go in the bathroom maybe over here or should i go over here we'll go there there we go by the toilet that makes sense and then green tomato vine I think I'm gonna put it over here. I'm actually just gonna take this whole thing and we can just pop that there and I will give these shelves a little zhuzh because they need a quick wipe over, but I think that's cute. Mm, maybe I'll move this here because I think this takes up quite a lot of space. No, that's nice. You guys, look at this. This is the kind of person that I am. These are <laughs> unopened birthday and Christmas presents. Christmas? No, these are unopened birthday and engagement presents it feels like christmas i still have so much to go through honestly well this is this is obvious what it is but yeah me and ryan need to go through this i need to unbox my birthday presents <laughs> love mum life this one i am waiting for its sender to arrive with us this afternoon but i can't wait to open it yeah so we we will go through all this this weekend look who's here i actually can't see <laughs> it's too bright hi Hi. <laughs> right. Victoria has sent me something to open, yeah, which I told you guys about earlier. So it's time. How did you oh. know this was from me? How did I know it was from you? So. <laughs> right. Are you ready? How do you get into this? These fancy places. These fancy places make boxes that are hard to get into. Whoa. This is our first drink gift. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever tried Dom Perignon? No. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. I don't drink champagne. Do you not? I only drink Dom Perignon. <laughs> no, because it's genuinely the best champagne you'll ever taste. Thank you, guys. You're so welcome. Thank you. but you're so welcome. Thank you for just being here. You guys, I just got new flowers. We're literally turning into a florist over here. These are, are these engagement flowers or birthday flowers? Engagement flowers from Clay de <laughs> Literally, this is the most flowerful week of my life. And then I've got this one on the floor. Oh, sorry. You're on the floor. Hi. How did we end up know, on the floor? It's such good light here. <laughs> Nice. We're gonna do some makeup. I've got most of my makeup on, but I'm gonna do my eyes and just kind of like zhuzh a little bit. So let's do it. So I normally sit on the bed. Oh. That's why I was like, oh, she's on the floor. I like it, because then you can put all the stuff down and you don't want this to go on the bed sheet. Do you know what? I never get makeup on the bed sheets, but I always end up dropping my brushes and then you just get like a little oh, yeah. soft orange splodge. Yeah. Which is why I really like this very, I wanna say granny, but I feel like it's actually, I don't wanna offend anyone, but, mm -hmm. I, but I, it's not because I love it, but I got this bed sheet and it's actually great because if I drop my makeup brush on it, it's not completely white. I think it's lovely. I really like it. I, I think really it's like going to be it. so nice in my bedroom when we move back into Ooh. the house. Do you know when that's going to be? Yeah. Now that we've moved out, I feel like sometimes the builders are a little bit more like, oh, we don't need to be as immaculate. Like when we lived there, they were like immaculate. Oh. They haven't been doing that. So when you go there, you're like, <laughs> oh, really? That my mad. house. Yeah. And then the scaffolders took the scaffolding down but everything that was on it just went on the floor. Really? Yeah. Oh no. This is so fun. You've not done this in a long no, time. No, we actually really haven't. When was the last time we got ready? I feel like it was at, um, at the Chateau in France for my Edge of Ember oh my God, yeah. launch. Do we count Victor and Rolf? Victor and Rolf, you had someone else doing your makeup, but I was in the room doing um, mine. yeah. Wait, and there's also Clay de Poe. Oh no, we didn't get ready then. We were too busy. Damn. The Clay de Poe Versailles trip. Do you remember? That beautiful Versailles trip. They we went to the yes. palace. We did not get ready together. <laughs> so, did you? Well, we went to the palace. We went to the palace. <laughs> you know, no biggie. <laughs> what are you doing with your makeup? 
I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing I do every other day. Smoky eye? Probably. Like yeah. brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brown and mega glowy skin, pretty much. Love that. It's better to go with glow at the moment because it's so warm today. I mean, I, I am a little bit obsessed with the, the dewy glow thing that I'm almost a bit too glowy now, but I need it glowy. though. I feel like I'm so. I have stressed, dehydrated skin at the moment and I just have lines okay. and... Do you know what, well, that's what I'm feeling though, like, I just want my skin to look super hydrated. I'm not surprised that you feel that way though, yeah, because... Have you, have you thought about getting a profile though? I would love to have a profile. Can I go with you though, because I want someone to hold my hand. Yeah. Okay, great. We can go together. Bestie trip to the, uh, <laughs> what do you call them, like, dermatologist? Oh, dermatologist? Bestie trip to the dermatologist. Yeah. I think we should do it, you know. It's Maybe. not comfortable, babe. Oh, is it not? I know. Okay. Honestly, that's why I think my skin at the moment is so good from the Profilo, but it really is. It's uncomfortable. But it's quick. It's quick, so it's just like... I mean, put it up, put lip up with filler is uncomfortable. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, because I have actually been having lots of people ask me, would I recommend the Profilo? Because obviously it's not comfortable. Yeah. And it's not the cheapest thing, and you've got to upkeep it, so it's like... People have been saying like, do I really need it? Like, is it worth mm. it? If it, my skin is anything to go by right now, I would say yeah, because I feel like my skin is the best. Do you not think my skin is the best? It's ever it does look really good, and she's been a busy gal. I was just saying to Vic that we started watching the Beckham documentary last night. I am really enjoying it. I think you'll love it. Is Victoria in it too, or is it about Dave? Yes, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't she? recommend it to you if Victoria wasn't it. Oh really? Oh good. We all know how much Vic loves her. What are you putting on? That's nice. Lancôme 501. Oh, 501. Do you know what? I tried to get it the other day. I was like, surely if I can't get it online, it will be in a shop. No. No. Silly girl. Don't be silly. Do you know what you also can't get? Oh, I've not got it with me. The NARS, all yours. I blame you for that. They don't make it. Fully. I don't no. think they make it anymore. What? Yeah. Why would they do that? What am I going to do? Like? Oat milk. Like, I saw you talking okay. about this. It's so nice. That's such a good shade. That looks a bit like um, Kim K. Yes, yeah. it is, but it's less um it's got less of a glazed yes. consistency it's more creamy yeah but it almost it's not like creamy like glossy creamy it's almost like it's a creamy matte the tilbury is yeah. a satin i think isn't it Whereas yeah that's a matte so that's lovely it's so nice do not blush i'm loving which i feel like you oh also they're amazing oh is that the super super purpley one yeah honestly oh, they're amazing i mean i have my um mm. have you tried the bronzer yeah. no Hey, it's, it's genuinely my favourite, my number one bronzer. Ooh! My number one. I've gone through about two or three of these now. Honestly, it's amazing. These are not, like, I need these. Yeah. Cool incoming. Stunning. I mean, I love the brow. I love Valentina, though. I think I nailed it. Honestly. The foundation. The foundation. Yes. It's so good. Yeah. Because I use Babe, I'm the blushes and the foundation. This is and amazing. the brow pencil. The brow pencil. I can't believe you never tried the bronzer. The brow pencil has three. Yeah. I saw you, you talk about this in the vlog. Oh I was like, yeah, but like, I literally there, like, spent weeks know. like la 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 la, and then yeah. I just thought that was a design feature, and then I was like, oh. Yeah. The only reason I realised that it's was so because it's proud. called the Brow Trio, and I was like, well, what's yeah. the third thing? No, I think thing? that was how I clicked. I was like, but look how much product you get, Indeed. and I've been using it. That's it's phenomenal. an amazing product. Yeah. The eyeliner's amazing. Have you tried this? No. Cloud mascara. No. Is it? So good. I love it when we when we can recommend different things to each other. Mm. Literally all of my rec recommendations are like Valentino at the moment. Yeah. Apart from this concealer. Givenchy. Not used it. I know you like a bit of Givenchy. You should try it. It's like creamy, but it completely like, like glazes over your skin so that you mm. just don't look as like... I've got loads of pores. When I get dehydrated at the moment, I get really bad lines around my mouth. Oh, do you? Yeah. I get that round my eyes. This is a really great product too, the Victoria Beckham Baby Blade. It's like waxy, the finish, so it really grabs on. Mm. I really love this product. Do you know what I also love? I dip in and out of this a lot. Like, sometimes I'm like obsessed with it and then sometimes I don't use it for like six months. The Hourglass eyeshadows and you can like make your own palette, which I really rate because no That's one does nice. this anymore. All of these shades are so cute. But you know, I went to do this one, so it is quite pricey, isn't it? You can do smaller ones though, it's which really I think nice. is also really good. Or like you can buy them individually. Nice. But if they're going to be like your favourite shades, use all the time, then that's such a good palette. Yeah, because then you can just replace one when it runs out as well, which yeah. is so nice compared to like having a palette and then using bits up and then being like, right, 
Uh, well, the rest the, of them are all still fully intact. That's annoying. Yeah. Well, and let's face it, you don't colors, you well. don't use them all. You no. get to the point where it like starts to shatter, and yes. then you drop it on the floor, and then it's game over. Oh my god! Yeah. What blush shade do I go for? <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh, they're right. so great, though, aren't they? Everybody vote. Wait, like put put them back against your face. Maybe this one for the tones of your eyeshadow. But it's the one that I use for my evenings, so. Oh, great. There we go. Oh, do you know what I remember I brought? I've got my green eyeliner. My oh. green PB eyeliner. So, Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Over the oranges. Oh, no. I just got to my last twist of merit. Oh, no. <gasps> I, I use no. mine too. I love it. It's the worst when you start running out of something over a weekend. Oh, yeah, you is, can't rebuy it. We are not making it through. Outfit of the evening. My house is pure chaos, full of the girls. <laughs> this blazer dress is from Pretty Lavish. I've got it on with Stuart Wiseman boots. And then my Valentino bag, which one of you asked on TikTok for a little sighting of because I haven't worn her in ages. This is basically my favourite night out back so that is what we're going with i literally don't have time to change any jewelry or necklaces so we're just rolling with what i already had on but yeah that is my outfit of the evening let's go Oh my god, look at this. Look at what Victoria has ordered. There is Nutella inside this. Wow. Look at you go. Good morning. You look a lot fresher than the rest of us. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> so, Mum, please feed me. Good morning. I am worse for wear today. I don't feel like I am on in the brain, but this past couple of weeks has just been very heavy with lots and lots of celebrating. So, I am excited for a fresh start this week and to just, you know reset i had the best time last night it was so nice to see all of my friends honestly i wish i'd seen them for longer it was just such a wholesome evening and i just love it so much but anyway i thought this morning we could unbox some of my gifts i have engagement gifts i have birthday gifts i think some are hybrid so we're just gonna sit and i'm gonna show you what I got for my birthday and as engagement gifts. I actually want to start with some surprises because I don't know what is in this gorgeous little bag. At the moment, I just keep making this noise and Ryan thinks it's hilarious, so I do it more and more and more at the moment, but I just keep like squishing his head and going, Yee! whenever we talk about anything to do with our engagement. But yeah, so I think one of these gifts is a gift from his brother and his brother's wife, my future sister-in-law. Oh, I love, I know what this is. I love these glasses. I got bought a set of these by my friend who was living in this house before we moved into it as a thank you for them living here. And I love these glasses so much and I actually just smashed one the other day and I was so upset and I told them that. I think they've got me like a little birthday gift and they also got us the gin glasses. I'm so happy. They just make like the nicest drinking glasses in general. And as I'm someone that likes to litter their bedside table with glasses why not make them beautiful oh my god this is so cute got a birthday card oh it's his sister-in-law and then i have a little little gift <gasps> i got the sol de janeiro body fragrant hair and body fragrance mist this stuff is so good i actually just used mine up so i'm so happy to have another one mm. i think this is from my friend ellie because this bag turned up when she turned up, so I'm gonna wish you was hug. <laughs> I love my friends. My friends are the best. 
Oh my god, little Oliver bonus thingies. What's this? Oh, hand sunny. This is really cute. Little lavender hand sunny. I want to know what it smells like. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. Oh my god, that's unreal. I love the packaging of that as well. So cute. It's like a little dish. That's amazing because I actually have nothing to put my jewellery in here. I've just been keeping it in boxes or like zip up cases. But I have nothing to like put my ring in on my bedside table or anything. This is so good because the other day I literally just picked up my earrings that I was wearing. And I didn't want them on the side so I just put them in a drawer. Thank you Ellie. I love you. That was amazing. Oh, Renewing hand mask. What a way to keep me off my phone for 10 minutes. Oh my god, stunning. Thank you, Ellie. Then I have my gift from my mum. I know what this is because she asked and I told her. More Jo Malone. We have the lime, man ma lime mandarin, the lime basil and mandarin hand wash and hand lotion. So happy about this. Honestly, I have missed my Jo Malone hand lotions whilst I've been living in this house so much. So, <sighs> can't wait. My hands are gonna smell so good. Then we have a gift from my brother and his girlfriend. They have been screaming at me to open this gift. Um, does anyone else just call their sibling sibling and not actually ever by their name? Birthday candle. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. It's like rose. Oh my God, you guys look, that's so cute. I'll try and link this. My brother's girlfriend, she always picks me really interesting candles for my birthday. So I will try and link this one if I can. She always buys the best candles. This is so cute. And it's got like stuff about October the second babies. Mm, love that. Thank you so much guys. Next I'll show you what Ryan got me. I actually didn't ask for anything. Well I did, I asked for flowers and a Lola's red velvet vegan cake. I didn't really feel like I like wanted or needed anything in particular but there was one thing that ryan got me and i have wanted this for years like i saw this years and years ago and i was so excited for when i finally got engaged so that i could eventually have this and this is the one like bridal thing that i think i want to have i don't think i'm like a bow on the back of my head that says bride girly or a hair clip kind of girly or anything but the one thing that i've always dreamed of having is this it's one of the victoria's secret robes i have the black one i love it and i've always wanted a white one anyway but i think the majority of the ones in victoria's secret have bride on the back so i was always just like oh one day when i'm actually going to be a bride i can i can get this one and i got it i love it i love it so much oh my god it's so fun when the things that you've been like saving for when you are a bride finally let like, that time has finally come and i just i don't know it makes me super super happy it might be really sad i don't care so that is what ryan got me i also got myself a little present because again things that i have been saving and being like i won't buy that yeah i'll buy that when the time is right so these are the shoes oh my god it comes with a blue bag not me crying I'm not crying. You're crying. Okay. Well, that's me gone. Great. I had so much fun shopping in the Jimmy Choo in Selfridges. I literally I was like, this is my idea of heaven. Oh my gosh. Look at the back of this heel. The most stunning shoe literally so special these could be a contender for wedding day shoe we will see i don't i literally have no idea what dress i'll be having at this stage obviously so i don't know what shoe i'll be wearing yet however i really wanted to pick these up because i have a few occasions in which i would like to wear a white shoe so whilst they might also be a contender for my wedding shoe that's not what i necessarily bought them for even though they obviously are giving bridal but i would love to rewear where possible so if they do go then i will absolutely wear them as well however bridal shoe shopping will probably continue because i just love shoes but these are amazing i love like the dangly sparkly bit of a little sparkly bit dangling on the back as well they're just literally the most special shoe i love them so much they're so beautiful <gasps> so exciting my first wedding purchase kind of 
My first bridal purchase. It could be a wedding purchase. We don't know yet. <laughs> then we have two final things these are engagement presents that i have very kindly been sent the first one is from smytheson it's in a little blue box dear susie congratulations to you both on your engagement please enjoy a little something from us at smytheson to make your wedding planning a touch easier wishing you to a lifetime of happiness the smytheson team it's tying the knot that's so cute and then it's got our initials on the bottom i love that i didn't know what to do initial wise because i obviously like have not got married yet so i don't even know what i'm going to be doing by the way food for thought but just in case anyone's wondering and, and wants to ask me what i plan on doing i have no idea yet i have not gotten that far but that's the story for another video oh my god this is so cool it says dresses invitations guests and gifts service reception flowers and other going away honeymoon but this is so beautiful this is a stunning engagement gift and the pages are all blue and then i don't know what this is called but like the edges of the pages are like gold thank you so much to the smyson team that is so beautiful and then i have something else from the team aurelia congratulations on your engagement susie we are so excited for you here's a little gift for you both from the aurelia team i wonder what this is Oh, that's so pretty. So there's a little gold bangle. Oh my god. It's got the date that we got engaged on it. That's so lovely and so special. They've also gifted me a little necklace. I wonder if this is for Ryan because this is quite big. I don't know. And they also have done a necklace which also has the date on it. That is so beautiful. I'm actually wearing an Aurelia necklace at the moment. Let's let's switch them over. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much to everyone that has sent a gift. I literally, this has been my most spoiled birthday, getting engaged and then having a birthday like very soon after. I recommend 10 out of 10. Anyway, that is what I got for my birthday. I have just laid down on my bed for an unreasonably long time for someone that had plans this afternoon i am feeling so it's it's the most annoying level of hungover it's like i'm not i'm not here i'm also not like you know physically unwell so i just feel a bit useless today and super groggy so i decided to cancel all my plans so this is me getting into a mind bride what's it called a robe see that is the level of non-brain power that i have i can't wait to show ryan it's so cute <laughs> so i'm going to leave you guys here thank you so much for spending my birthday week with me i hope you enjoyed seeing little snippets of it i'm very excited to bring you along next week literally can't wait it's going to be a very fun week but yeah i love you all lots and i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye